Afshin Gul, a 13-year-old Pakistani girl who spent most of her life with her neck twisted at a 90-degree angle, has undergone life-changing surgery at Delhi's Indraprasth Apollo Hospital. Afshin has never been to school or played with friends because of this condition. She also afflicted with cerebral palsy and had a rare condition that made her neck bend and her head sit at a 90 degree angle. Her father, who was a laborer, died in 2020, but 2 years before his passing, there was a ray of hope for the family. Afshin's eldest brother, Muhammad Yaqub Kumbar, heard about spine surgeon Dr. Raj Gopalan Krishnan at Delhi's Apollo Hospital. डॉक्टर कृष्णन के बारे में मैंने एक डॉक्यूमेंट्री देखी थी उस लड़के का नाम था महेंद्र आयरवार तो उसकी जो है ना वो यूट्यूब पे वीडियो थी यूट्यूब पे वीडियो थी सर्जरी की तो उसको मैंने देखे फिर डॉक्टर से रबता किया मैंने फिर डॉक्टर ने हमें बताया कि कैसे सर्जरी होगी कैसे इसका इलाज होगा कैसे इसका वीज़ा होगा वो हमें जो है सारा कुछ डॉक्टर ने गाइड किया तो डॉक्टर ने गाइड किया फिर हम चले आए Yakub raised funds through crowdfunding for Afshin's treatment. Finally, Yakub and Afshin flew to India in November last year and met Dr. Krishnan. Actual diagnosis in the neck was a chronic neglected severe atlantoaxial dislocation. That is the C1 vertebra along with the skull tipping over the C2 vertebra dropping to the left side. and rotated 90 degrees so i don't think i have seen such a severe fixed deformity and <clears throat> she had spinal cord compression and cervical myelopathy cervical myelopathy means compression of the spinal cord leading to neurological dysfunction or deficit in the upper and lower limb, limbs depending on where the site of compression is dr krishnan diagnosed afshin with atlanto axial rotatory dislocation first stage was putting her in halo gravity traction so she had a ring round the skull with pins going into the skull and <clears throat> weights attached to it when she was lying in bed weights attached to a bed uh, pulley system and then when she she sat in a wheelchair weights going through an overhead pulley so we kept her in traction with gradual distraction and monitoring her clinical and neurological status nothing went wrong for which we are very thankful after a few weeks we repeated the scan which showed that the rotation had diminished uh, decreased significantly so from 90 degrees it had reduced about 60 degrees and um, um, the problem is the dropped head didn't correct as, as much as i would have wanted i expected this because in a growing child after 12 years the bones adapt this applies to any part of the body so she had bony adaptive changes which prevented adequate repositioning of the skull on c2 and the trunk second step was the uh, second surgery uh, to release the sternocleidomastoid muscle which takes origin from the sternum and the uh, inner or medial one third or half of the clavicle collarbone and then inserts in the mastoid process behind the ear you can actually see it contracting when i turn the head so <clears throat> i modified uh, conventional procedures rather than just releasing it then at the origin and the insertion i took out segments a couple of centimeters top and bottom the idea behind this was we couldn't we can't stop the dystonia but remove the fulcrum so that even if the lever arm keeps contracting it can't pull on anything it's been detached above and below uh, <clears throat> so scans later showed that the deformity was further corrected so <clears throat> i decided to proceed with surgery which happened on the 28th of february i <clears throat> had a long discussion with the family on the sunday before the surgery i told them the possible risks she could die during the surgery she could die afterwards she could have infection she could have further neurological deficit but over and above all that the risk of death was high they understood and they wrote me a message which i think touched my heart 
the family asked if she does die how will we get the body back to pakistan and i decided i will do the best uh, to make sure she doesn't die on the table the surgery on february 28 lasted over 6 hours and by the end of her neck was straightened although she will have to wear a brace for some time for the neck to stabilize over the next few months dr krishnan and his team will monitor afshin once a week through skype